guys, it's Phoebe from I'm Miss Phoebe, and this week's video is going to be slightly different to the videos I'm used to. I'm going to be doing 13 types of people at school. So the first one is the shy one. Now this person is the person that you find in friendship groups at school. Now this person you'll try and talk to, and they'll be like, hi, and they'll be like, so they'll be like, you can't even hear what they say, which, to be honest, I don't understand the point. So this is that person who'll be like, what did you do this week? And they'll be like, oh my god, I can't hear you. It, like, really annoys me. The second person, I think, you find is the daredevil. The daredevil. Now this person is always that person who likes to do something naughty and I'm always that kid like remember the school rules, school rules 12, like article 1, do not do dares even if it's supposed to happen. I'll just whip out my terms and conditions like you can't do that, like the school's terms and conditions. So I'll be like the next one. And the next one is called the annoyer. Now, when I was doing this, I was trying to think of a name for this one when I was writing it down as a sort of, I don't know how to explain it, a script or whatnot. I was trying to explain it as a scripting. This is that person who, you say you'll be sitting in class with them, like right next to you, and they'll be like talking, saying, hey, what did you do this weekend? And then I'm like sitting there like, do I really have to? answer that question right now I'm trying to do my work and then they'll be like yes you do and then I'll be like oh I just went to the park or something I just have a little white lie just to stop them from asking me this particular question but when they when they ask you one question they just can't stop and then I'm just like stop my life isn't worth living have you one of those days where you don't really feel like making your bed that's me the next one is called the excitable one. Now, this I actually thought, well, I was telling my mum about excitable one. She's like, I've never had an excitable person in my group. Well, I have. It's that certain person that will be that person who is it really excitable they're really excited about upcoming events like birthdays and christmas and they'll start getting ready like four months before or something like even halloween they'll start like getting all the preparations out they're like the really excitable one which i've had a few people of those in my friendship groups throughout the years and i'm like oh are you serious yes i love christmas yes i love it there's no joke about that but I just don't like when the sun's getting really excited or getting stuff ready like four months before. I'm like, oh my god, please stop. They get stuff ready in September, October, November and also December. So they get start getting stuff ready just before we've gone back to school. Number four. Yes, yeah. number four is the scaredy cat. The scaredy cat. Now I don't know about you, but I've always had that someone who is a scaredy cat in the group. They don't want to do dares that other people say. This is actually number five. They don't want to do dares that that other person says. I'm like, don't do it. And they're always scared of everything. Like even if you get them into trouble, they're scared they're gonna get tension. That sort of person. So you then realise like they're not worth them getting into trouble for because they're a scaredy cat of getting into trouble and breaking the rules. So it's just kind of a bit annoying. The next one is called the nerd. Now this is that person who will always study in the library throughout the whole of the school year and I just don't understand why. 24-7 you'll see them in the library studying away with all their textbooks at them and all their notes and all their revision cards I'm just like how the hell do you do it? Tell me 
yes i will revise but to be honest i find getting motivated is quite hard for revision i just generally find that it's quite hard to get motivated for revision so i'm just like i'll try my best to get motivated number seven the book worm the book worm the worm now this is that person who'll bring in a book a new book every single day because they're like a fast reader or something and they'll be just like this and the, when they're hanging out with you they'll you'll see that they've got the same book and they're constantly reading it i'm just like well this is getting annoying because you can't have a conversation because all they'll talk about is is this book so imagine I've got a book. So imagine I've got this book, right? And I'm just sitting, I'm just like, someone's trying to have a conversation with me. And they're just like, hey, Phoebe, how's your week? And I'm like, well, I, if I was a book going, I'd be like, this book is amazing. Wow, so much drama. Literally, it's like that. You're, you feel like you're having a conversation with yourself. You feel like no joke, genuinely, you are no joke. You are having a conversation with yourself because they're literally saying, wow, this book is amazing, wow. The next one is called the social media one. Now this person I've experienced in many situations but I just thought I'd include it because this one is probably one of the most annoying. So this is that person where you'll try to have a conversation with and they're always just constantly on their phone and you can't even have a decent conversation because they'll message you over Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp. Which leads, which leads me to my next one, the Instagram one. Now this is that person when you're out with lunch, they'll start Instagramming, that they'll start taking pictures of their food, thinking they're worthy of an Instagram. They are so wrong, my friends. It's not all about social media, it's about actually having a proper conversation, which one. Which leads me on to my next one, the know-it-all. Now, this person is probably one of the most irritating people that I can't understand. So, you'll be sitting you'll be sitting so it's like time and you'll be having a conversation with them and they'll and they'll just be like well and then you'll be like you do as it's supposed to say to them and be like no nope, you're wrong no nope, you're right you always feel like you're the wrong because they're like they know it all they know everything they know all the answers in math they'll put their hand up like this they'll go what miss and the, the teacher will always constantly choose them because they they are what i like to call the so-called know-it-alls which then leads me on my next one the musical one the musical one now this person you can actually have a proper conversation with but half the time they'll be playing their instrument and this is that person who always constantly plays their instrument i'm just like how the hell are you doing that but the next one is the sporty one now this person can be any person particularly uh it's hard to explain this person. This person is that person who always goes to clubs. Always goes to sporting clubs and everything. And it's impossible to have a conversation with them because I'm just like, like, hey, how was your weekend? Oh yeah, great. I played football. I did some basketball. I won a tournament. And they are literally impossible to talk to, to try and have a conversation with, honestly. You do not want to have the sporty one in your school. And the final one is the daydreamer. Now, this person is kind of okay to have a conversation with. They're not that bad. Literally, they are what I like to call the daydreamer, but they're literally not that bad at all. Because this person you have a conversation with and because they're off in their own little world they'll be having a proper conversation with you because they don't realize it so this is why i don't mind this person 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, click that big red subscribe button down below. And also hit the notifications bell as well. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Good night.